Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be going over my um, November slash Friday favorites because I probably won't have time to be doing a video Friday so I just decided to incorporate that in this video. So we're already at the end of November. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I don't know when you'll be watching this but for me tomorrow is Thanksgiving and um, I'm not really planning on doing anything. I'm probably going to be staying home and cooking a turkey for the first time ever so let's see how that goes. Um, so to not make this video any longer I do have quite a bit of products. Um, not too many makeup products but more of a um, like sprays and makeup removers all that good stuff so um hope i don't bore you with all of that since there's not much makeup talk but these are a few things that i have been using um for the whole month and especially for the whole week um i w went back to work so i'm able to use more products and everything like that so um i'm really really loving these so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in the first thing i'm gonna go over is um setting spray so i only have this is actually my only setting spray that I have. Now there's a ton that I actually want to try, but this one I've had for, for a while now, and it's the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Spray that looks like this. And I love the packaging. It's like a matte, um, a matte black with like rose design on it, which it matches all of her, um, her products the foundation and the primer all that good stuff so what you do is you shake this one up before you use it you shake it quite a bit and then you just spray it one time and it'll set your spray it'll set your makeup just perfectly I usually do it two sprays just because I feel like it doesn't get my whole face but I've watched reviews on it and everybody says just to spray it one time because it could get a little bit sticky and at first you do notice that it is sticky but to me, that's good. I mean, it doesn't last all day, um, the stickiness, but it, it sets into your foundation and keeps it in there all day. Now, when I put a combination of the primer, the foundation, and then the setting spray, I mean, like, my makeup is not coming off for, like, ever. So, I usually do that when I'm going to have, like, a hard day at work or I know I'm going to be out for a while and I can't reapply anything. I uh, do the combination of the three. So, I really, really love this. I believe this retails for about $30 at Sephora. The next one is my uh, Kat Von D uh, Rehab Priming Elixir, which looks like this. Now, it looks very tiny, but it's the same amount that you would get in any primer. It's one ounce, and it's a glass bottle, so you have to be very careful with this. I usually put it on top of my Muji drawer because I don't like putting it in the, you know, I don't want it to get scraped up and stuff, especially for it being glass. So it has a little pump, as you can tell, and it's just like a gel. You can see it a little bit on the lid because it just it got on there but um I use one pump and um I it covers my whole face it covers my whole entire face I don't need two pumps and this one alone you can feel the stickiness like the setting spray but I mean I have no problem with it just because I know that it is locking into my pores and my foundation isn't going to go anywhere when I use this. I don't only use it with the Kat Von D foundation, I use it with any other foundation. If I don't want to have a full coverage um, foundation on, I'll use it with any drugstore or MAC um, Pro Longwear as well. And then uh, the next thing, a uh, makeup remover. Now, I got this a while ago, and I've had it for, for a long time. It's the Remmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover that looks like this. I got it because it was so cheap. I think it was like $3, and I use it every day that I take off my makeup. I just get the little cotton um, rounds from Target, and I just squirt it on there and then it it takes off my makeup now it probably doesn't work as good as like a mac or, or any other eye makeup removers but to me it's a good alternative um i mean like i said i've had this for months and i still have more in it um so i feel like i i usually squirt it on the round about two times at first to take off both of my eye makeup and then after I wash my face and stuff like that and I notice that I still have um, eyeliner in the bottom, I'll just use another one and it'll take it off. So it might be, now talking about it, it might be a little bit of work, but if you don't want to go splurge on one of the um, more high-end uh, makeup removers, I feel like this is a good alternative. Um, I've had it forever and I still have some in there. So it, to me, it's a good, it's a good um, alternative, like I said. 
And then another one. Now, I've been into, like, pigments and all that good stuff. I've gotten a couple of new pigments. I want more MAC ones and just, like, all kinds of other brands that I've seen pigments for. But, um, now, a lot of the times people use the MAC Studio Fix, the spray to spray on your brush. And then what you do is you wet your brush and then you put in the pigment and then you apply it to your lid. Now, I didn't want to buy the Studio Fix at the time. I think I just didn't have enough money to buy it. So my friend suggested the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And now this is only $3. As you know, e.l.f. is a very affordable um, makeup line. And I use this all the time for any type of pigment that I have or any actually eyeshadow that I want to use wet. So all I do is just one spray on whatever brush that I want to apply my pigment or eyeshadow with. And it just gives it the vibrancy that the shadow or pigment needs. And I love this. I will definitely be repurchasing this. If you can see, it's like still pretty full. It's like right there. And um, I've had it for a while. I've had it for a while now. So I'm really, really loving this. I probably won't buy Studio Fix. I don't use this to set my makeup or anything like that. I just use it strictly for pigments and shadows. But, um, yes, I love this. I love this. So $3 at Target. And I believe e.l.f. is at Walmart now. Okay, so another makeup product for your face is this Sephora. This is, I believe, in the 45. Yeah, the Mineral Powder 40, number 45. Now, I know it's dirty. I've been using it, like, forever, and I haven't washed it, which is really gross, I know. But um, this, I had got this. It was, like, at the little set at the register, and she had told me that it's perfect for foundation, um, for liquid foundation, and I love it. I feel like it just, you know doesn't leave any streaks or anything like that on my foundation I love it I recently seen it in somebody's video I just don't know whose video and she talked about it and compared it to the buffing brush from real techniques but to me the buff the buffing brush is not as dense I feel I I buff it out you know I use it for what it is this one I don't buff out because it is so dense and to me I think it just picks up the foundation perfectly it's the perfect size to um, go around your whole face so I'm really really loving this um, this is from the Sephora brand and this is number 45 it's the mineral powder brush but I don't use it for powder I just use it for my liquid foundation okay now on to a few makeup products that I have I um, have been using the NARS um, One Night Stand Palette from Guy Bourdain, Bourdain, and I went over this in a haul, I believe, so I'm really not going to go over swatches or anything like that, but I've been using the uh, Laguna Bronzer, the highlight as well, and um, I'm really, really loving, um, I believe it's Deep Throat that I've been using. It sucks because you have to keep looking at the box for the blushes, and I just don't have time to, you know, see what blush I'm using. Um, but I do have the box, so I do need to memorize those um, those blushes and stuff. But I'm really, really loving this palette. I've been using it quite a bit this month. Okay, and another thing that I've used every single day since I've gotten it, and I got this at the end of October so it's been longer than a month that I've been using it this is a Marc Jacobs highliner gel crown and the color that I got is in black um, and to me it stays in my waterline all day it doesn't smudge it doesn't um, smear or anything like that I do have really watery eyes and I feel like this is just amazing I really really like it now there are times um, certain days and stuff that I feel like maybe I should put a little bit more on because you really can't see the eyeliner as much as when I applied it the first time so that might be a little bit of downfall especially for paying $25 for an eyeliner um, I want it to stay on completely and not me you know I don't want to look in the mirror and be like oh man you know uh, you know spots here and there I, I should reapply it but besides that I mean I love how smooth it is it, it is a retractable um, crayon as you can tell it's a retractable crown you just twist it up and um, I mean I really really like it that's the only complaint that I have is just some days I, I guess my eyes are just more watery than than others so, yeah, like I said, the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crown in black. I think they have brown and other colors as well. I'm really, really liking this. Two last things. Um, this, I barely got it. Now, this has been around forever, but um, I decided to pick it up. It's the Dream Lumi uh, Touch Highlighter Concealer Pen. And the color that I got is in beige. I try to get a little bit color, uh, 
a couple shades lighter than my actual um, skin tone because I wanted to use it more for highlighting and I've been using this like no other. Um, I'm not too sure how much product was in it at first, but I mean, I've used I've used a lot. You um, just it like clicks up as you can see, and then the product comes out of there. And the way that I apply it is I apply it under my eyes in like that V shape, and then I apply it to my forehead, down my nose, and then on my cupid's bow, and then also on my chin. And then I just blend it out with the um with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Uh, there's a lot of um, different ways that you could just do it with your finger, you could do it with another brush, a synthetic brush, a Real Technique, whatever brush that you want to do. As long as you buff it out right and you don't see like the harsh lines that it leaves. Um, and especially because I got shades lighter than my actual color, I don't want to look like a ghost with like white all over my eyes. So I make sure I do blend that out very, uh, very, very, very nicely so that you don't see any of that. So I've been using this a lot and I really, really like it. And then uh, my last but not least, now I had this before, I, w I used it all and then I got it again when I purchased the, the Neckin. The Naked uh, Palette. It's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And like I said, I purchased the full size. And then I had got like a sample size. And I used both of those. And I just never went back to it. Because I got so many like eye primers and stuff. I just never repurchased it. But now that I got this, I mean, I've been using it every single day with every single eyeshadow. Not only Urban Decay eyeshadow, just everything that I've been using. And um, I'm really, really loving this. So I will be repurchasing the full size once again when it comes out. Um, this is just awesome. I really, really like it. So yeah, that's all for my November slash Friday favorites. Um... I feel like I need to say something else, but there's really not much to say. That was, that was it. I try to go in depth detail of why I like the things that I like and why I've been loving everything in November. Um, yeah, for, so besides that, I hope you guys have a um, happy Thanksgiving. I will be doing um, another video pretty soon. I just don't know what I'm going to do it about. I don't know if I'm going to go Black Friday shopping. I hope that I am. I'm just hoping that I get paid on time. Um, to go Black Friday shopping, but if I do, I will definitely do a little haul with whatever I get. I'm probably not going to buy all kinds of makeup. I'll probably be buying some toys and stuff like that, clothes for the kids and um, presents that I have for my nieces and nephews and some friends. And um, yeah, so hopefully I get to go. Like I said, I will be updating you guys if I do go. If not, I will talk to you guys next week sometime. So like I said, I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving enjoy your loved ones enjoy the time that you don't really spend with them on a daily basis go out of town have some fun and um, i will talk to you guys later thank you bye